Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box open. I got two of the blaster boxes of 2024 Topps Big League. Um, I think this is usually a fun product. It's a fun product to open. It's not a very valuable product, but it is a very fun product. Um, honestly, this is a product I think is really great for opening up with you know any kids um, to kind of get them into the hobby. They have some inserts that are kind of targeted, more a little kid related and such. So I, I do think this is a fun product. Um, you know, there's no guarantee of any autographs or anything like that, especially even with the hobby boxes, which if you saw, you know, if you didn't see, I did post a hobby box video, uh, loaded up to the channel yesterday. So appreciate if you check that out after this. Um, but with that, uh, you know, blasters cost me $20. I don't know if that's going to be the exact price. I'm recording this before tops, uh, actually loaded these to their site. So I'm not too sure exactly how much tops is charging for those. Um, the hobby box I got for $45, which I think the pre-sale was at least 50. I'm not too sure though. I'd have to, I don't really remember off the top of my head, but, um, so definitely a little bit of a cheaper product, but you do have the chance of pulling some stuff. That's okay. I mean, this product, even at a retail, a lot of, a lot of autographs. I, I pulled at least at least four autographs that I can remember out of opening up just some fat packs or value packs and um, opening up a little bit of a couple of blasters. Nothing crazy, no crazy amounts of them really either. Um, but with the blasters, you get five of the electric orange parallels. Um, those are a blaster exclusive. Uh, I think you get 10 packs, eight cards per pack. Yep, 10 cards. Or excuse me, 10 packs, eight cards per pack. So decent amount of cards as well um but like i said i think this product is actually a little bit of, you know a little fun in my opinion so, you know not everything has to be where you're pulling and you know getting hundred dollar cards out of every product that you open so starting off we got a nice little or uh, our orange parallel south relic i'll definitely take that being a decent rookie uh we got bias presley miller caminero we got Scherzer, Schneider, Lawrence Butler, good vibrations insert, and uh, Corbin Burns for the uh, silver. You should be getting one silver per pack. Um, and then uh, you have the chances of getting the other parallels. Also, too, if you didn't see my video yesterday, there's a 310 card base set. The first 200 cards are your base cards. Your next 50 cards are the rainbow parallels or the silver foils, whatever you want to call them. Then you have a blue parallel, uh, which is a 25 card set, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 25 card, which is your rares. Your super rare are the red foils, another 25 cards, and then your legendaries, which I believe are case hits. Uh, there's 10 of them in the set. So and those are the gold foils, and they're all X players. Uh, I think. I think Jeter's on there, Henderson's on there. I honestly can't remember who else, honestly, off the top of my head. Um, so, so, all right, let's see what we get. We got Willie Adamas. Do get another Ellie De La Cruz. Suzuki, Nimmo, Kemp, Glass now. Then we got our mascots, TC Bear for the Twins, and Carlos Correa for the Rainbow. So, if you are trying to put together that 310 card set, um, the, uh, the legendary ones are going to be the harder ones to, to get. Uh, we got Westberg, rookie, Kowser, rookie, Winnems, rookie, Alex Spears, uh, Ronnie Mauricio. Then we got Altuve. So we do get a red. Okay. Red foil. Uh, these are one of these super rares, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yep. Super rares. And then also two. Uh, like I said, by the card number as well. So, all right, Altuve, red parallel, I'll take it. Um, you know, they're not easy to pull. I don't really, I I forget to pull up the pack odds. Um, we got McCutcheon on the rainbow foil. And then to the moon, Chris Bryant, insert. Um, I forget to pull up the pack odds on my, like, laptop because now they don't do the pack odds on the back of the packs anymore. Um, all right, so two for two at rookies. We got Lawrence Butler uh, in the orange, Taylor Ward, Mickey Moniak, Rafella. We got Owen White, Kellenic. Then we got Luis Castillo. Okay, so wait, so I'm getting confused now here. 
So we got the electric. So this should be the, is this the electric iron? Or, oh no, we, I think what it was is you get an orange foil. I think you get an orange foil, which should be a base card. No, maybe not. I guess it's a regular rainbow foil, but it's the orange version. And then these are the electric orange, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot they put one foil in last year. I did forget about that, actually, now that I think about it. Um, we got good vibrations, Rafella, and then Strider on the regular rainbow. So, yeah, there's there's one foil. There should be one foil per box. I don't know. Unless I can, unless I'm completely missing it. Uh, electric orange. Okay, yeah. So one electric orange foil parallel inside value box exclusive. Okay. All right. Don't think we're gonna have any more surprises. But I did. I did forget that there was the uh, the orange foil. We got Hunter Goodman rookie. Rogers, Johnny DeLuca, Curtis Mead. Uh, Weimer, Alec Baum. We got Mark McGuire on the Tops Big Leaguer insert. And then we got Verdugo on the Rainbow. Uh, his, I think that's his, that's got to be his first Yankee card. We got Candelario on our orange, our electric orange. Soler, Acuna, Bryant, Hader, Peterson, Contreras. To the moon, Freddie Freeman, and then Jazz Chisholm on the rainbow. We got Justin Turner, Mullins, Gunnar Henderson, Johanaheim, Springer. Then we got Corey Seeger, Nolan Arenado on the tops big leaguer, and Matt Safrelic on the rainbow. I'll take that. We got Marte, Trey Cabbage, Mookie Betts, Luciano, Quinn Priester. Then we got a Matt Chapman. We got a blue as well. Okay. Zach Giloff on the Good vibrations, and then Jeff McNeil on the regular rainbow. So, kind of shocked to see a red and a blue. Usually, you get maybe one or the other. So, eh, I'll take it though. Because, like I said, they're not easy to pull. Uh, all right, Henry Davis, another decent rookie on the orange. I'll take that. Then we got Tanner Beebe, uh, Correa, Brown, Weston Wilson. We got Marte. Ryan Jeffers, to the moon, Corey Seager, and then George Kirby on the rainbow. So, all right, two. I'm actually happy. I mean, would I rather have an Ellie or a Ronnie for, you know, Ronnie just for myself? Yeah, but uh, I don't know, two decent rookies in my opinion. Definitely curious to see, you know, how they're... Another second year in the bigs go. We got Brian De La Cruz, uh, Corbin Carroll, Trevor Story, Emerson Hancock, Lane Thomas, Austin Wells. I think that's his first like rookie card. I don't remember if he had something in Series 1. We got Dansby Swanson, Good Vibrations, and then Hassan Kim. So overall, not a bad first back, or first box. Let's see if the second box can maybe yield us an auto. That'd be nice. But like you know, like I said, I, I can't stress enough though. That, you know, this product is definitely a product that's targeted to be more fun, in my opinion. You know, you're not. It's gonna be hard to get something that has tons and tons of you know, monetary uh, you know, value to it. But just something to have fun with. Something to have fun with the hobby, in my opinion. Uh, let's see what we got. We got Parker Meadows. So, I mean, it's, at least it's another rookie. You know, can't complain too much there. Collis, Jordan Wicks, Chris Sale, Joey Weaver, Alec Bohm, Hater. Then we got To the Moon, Sosa. And then we got Corbin Burns, Rainbow Foil.
We got Forrest Wall, Merrill Kelly, Zach Neto, Peterson, Contreras, Joanna Heim, Correa on the good vibrations, and then Correa on the rainbow. We got Michael Harris, Eddie Rosario, Canley Jansen, Springer, Seeger, Mookie Betts. Then we got mascots, Gapper, which the Reds mascot, which I don't know. For some reason, I thought it would be Mr. Was it Red Stockings? Is that his nickname? Um, but okay, Gapper for the uh, Reds. And then McCutcheon on the Rainbow. We got Wilson Contreras on the Orange. Justin Steele, India, McMahon. Then we got Luciana, Quinn Priester. And then we got Jazz Chisholm on the uh, orange parallel. Austin Riley to the moon. And Strider on the rainbow. Jazz Chisholm, player I like a lot personally in the game. So I'll definitely take that. We got Kessinger. We got Hayward. Peralta, Wilson, Marte, Ryan Jeffers. Then we got Bo Bichette on the top's big leaguer. And then Verdugo on the rainbow. So that should put us about halfway through. Doesn't look like we're going to have the luck like we did with uh, Cole Reagans. I know this is a guy a lot of people like for the Royals. Uh, Vaughn, Anderson, Bello, Hancock, Thomas, Austin Wells. Then we got mascots, Rangers captain, and Jazz again for the regular rainbow. <coughs> like I said, we're not really having the luck that we had last box. At least with the foils. But I don't know, maybe we can get lucky with these last packs. Get us an auto. It would be nice. We got Vaughn Grisham. Perdomo, Chanel, Chapman, Basabi, Lucan Baker. That's actually a couple of cards we have not pulled yet. Uh, Bryce Harper to the moon and Sal Frelick again. So, which 66. I guess, I guess Frelick must have like two different, he must have two different cards. He must have a, uh, a base and a, an uncommon one. We got Ian Happ, Hunter Green, Merrifield, Julio, Brett Beatty. And then we got Shane McClanahan. So blue parallel. We did get at least one blue then. Uh, good vibrations. Boba Shet. And Jeff McNeil for the rainbow. So all right, we did get at least one blue. Like I said, I don't think there's a guarantee of any of the blues in a blaster. Hobby box, I think, are guaranteed at least one blue. We got Yonaheim for our orange this time, which oh, that might have been our last orange. Uh, Diaz, Baez, Presley, Lawrence Butler, Henry Davis, Wade Meckler. Right? Yeah, Meckler. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Zach Giloff on the top's big leaguer and George Kirby on the rainbow. And this will bring us to our last pack. We got Bobby Miller, Willie Adams, Ellie De La Cruz Base, Miglas, Ezekiel Duran, Kevin Gossman, To the Moon, Kim and Arrow. Okay, definitely take that one. And then Hassan Kim on the rainbow to finish it off. So, no autographs or anything like that, but that's okay. Like I said, I think this product's fun. I'll probably open up a little bit more of this for myself, just to. Uh, I don't know, change it up a little bit. Uh, probably myself, I'm going to probably try to piece together that To the Moon uh, set. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to do like the whole set of the different foils and such, but I do think it's a fun product in my opinion. So, But definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about Topps Big League. You like it? Do you hate it? I always like to hear your opinions on it. Um, I mean, between the hobby box that I opened up yesterday, the two blasters I opened up today, um, you know, I'll have to see where I sit with the set. Um, 
and then you know probably try to slowly piece it together so but i mean overall realistically i mean we did hit the altuve which those are not easy to pull especially regarding hob uh, uh retail we did get two nice orange parallels in my opinion davis and frelick uh, we got the mcclanahan blue which like i said i know last year's uh blue was not guaranteed and then we also had the matt chapman so you know not you know definitely good names within the league not really late players that i'm personally targeted for you know either my pc or just guys that i, I like to collect um but definitely you know good names within the hobby so but like i said though with that i want to thank you guys for watching enjoy the games today i know it's opening day um you know hopefully your team starts out with a good start with a nice w on opening day and uh like i said we'll probably be doing some more of this on the channel definitely be doing a break of it probably this weekend as well and uh you know looking to just have some fun with the uh you know with the products so uh with that i want to thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys next time take care everybody